Welcome back to Character Limited Exceeded, y'all, the movie review segment where every word counts. Today, we have a very special event, a quinceanera, if you will, the 15 year anniversary of No Country for Old Men. That's right, Frank, but before we get to that, it's time for some rootin', tootin', stick choosing. It's time to pick, pick that, that stick. stick. I got the book report, 250 words. That gives me the basho a haiku. Well, call it. Heads. The Coen brothers are no strangers to writing and directing cinema gold, and No Country for Old Men is a shining example. The adaptation of Cormac McCarthy's novel follows Llewellyn Moss, a Vietnam vet and welder by trade, as he discovers the scene of a heroin deal gone bad while on a pronghorn hunting expedition in the Texas desert. Llewellyn finds a case filled with over $2 million, and he decides an early retirement is in order. He will soon find out that Anton Chigurh, a psychopathic hitman armed with an interesting arsenal, has been tasked with hunting down the missing money. A long, crescendoing chase ensues between Josh Brolin and Javier Bardem's characters, along with Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, portrayed by Tommy Lee Jones, and Carson Wells, another operative hired by Chigurh's employers, played by Woody Harrelson. The film features incredibly strong performances by its lead actors, as well as a memorable supporting cast filled with minor characters, my favorites being the gas station proprietor and the manager of Llewellyn's trailer park. The sound design is beautiful, locking you into every moment despite the complete lack of score. The multifaceted hunt results in a trail of bodies, property damage, and ruined motel rooms in the wake of our main characters, and the story lacks a classic, good triumphs over evil ending. Instead, leaving the viewer with the message that what goes around does not necessarily come around. 15 years worth of rewatches later, and the story hasn't grown any less exciting. What's this about? Step out of that car, please, sir. What is that? I need you to step out of that car, sir. Tangible suspense. A festering sense of dread. Hole punch to the head. 